or we'll go into France. Okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Landed here in France, in Nice. So southern France, south of France. First time I've ever, ever been on French soil. Right, so through passport control, just waiting for luggage now. Uh, we're here in France to test the new Under Armour golf shoes. Very exciting. There's two things I want in life. One of these. <laughs> How easy is that? And what is in this bag? So this is the brand new under Armour golf shoe. Rum shaker, shake your booty. 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 So guys, we have uh, arrived. We're here at, oh, it's raining, at uh, Blanche um, to do some testing of the new Under Armour golf shoe with JJ Rivette. You'll in, I'll introduce you to him very soon. Uh, we're just gonna go and check in, get everything sorted. It looks like an, a wonderful place. The good news, the sun is out. So, quick room tour. I'm in one of the villas here at uh, Blanche. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. You know what I'm like with pronunciation. Uh, love the big bed. Uh, let me show you the views in a minute. Oh, nice TV in the wall. Uh, do, 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 I forgot going on here. Walk in wardrobe. Nice little underlight in, in here. Now, nice bath, big bath, shower, and and, 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 I don't know, oh, Tyler. Quick shower, you get changed, and then we're going testing some golf shoes, cannot wait. Okay, so I'm all changed, showered, ready to go. Got all my filming gear, got some new shoes on. Some new Under Armour shoes. Uh, and then we're gonna have some spot of lunch and then do some filming with JJ Rivette. Okay, so just finished a very lovely lunch here at the clubhouse. Um, got to meet JJ Rivette again. I met him, uh, how long ago was it now? Probably about 18 months ago when I first ever really got connected with Under Armour. Problem is, training. Raining, so hopefully it'll stop. Uh, the teaching studio is indoor anyway. Uh, we're not playing any golf today, but I cannot wait to see this teaching studio. Lunch. One thing I know about the French people so far, they take their time. So this is why we are here. Well, that, that, these, that rascal. You might have seen that one before. I've worn that a few times. And there's uh, some new ones. I'll show you, show you them on my feet in a sec. The sun is back out. And what an amazing place this is. So now we're down at the driving range at Turblanc and we are here at the Studio of Dreams. This is the new Quest Studio, right here. So it is, it's JJ Rivet, it's Emmanuel. We'll see JJ in a minute, we'll have some talks with him. Um, this is the facilities, we've got force plates, we've got 
lights and cameras and screens and Joel Tadman. He's not always here though. <laughs> He's not always here. The rest, are, the rest it is. Um, so I'm going to very quickly now um, jump on kind of like a force plate with JJ. So we do the, the same then thing. Then Manuel's JJ going to take me through some testing. Um, when you're ready, I'll just jump out this bay one second. When you're ready, you ready, you just will. Uh, all in aid about talking about the importance of uh, the biomechanical side of golf shoes. And it's, you know, we take golf shoes for granted. We think golf shoes, a snazzy looking shoe with some spikes that'll do the job. But after speaking to JJ just briefly already over lunch and just what we've had in there, there's quite a lot more to it. So stay tuned, find out what's going on. Um, I know that my feet and my balance aren't the greatest in the world. But seeing that I'm down here at the European Tour Destination HQ here in France, let's find out how bad it really is. Okay, you can you can go. So you try to, to get a, a stable position where you can stay for 50 seconds on that position. Okay, you can step off. Okay. I can get a both of you, <laughs> both of you, you know, you can see you are like him, like uh, Joel, you know, a lot, lot in, in the front. Uh, repartition of the weight, 50, you are a little it bit too much, you know, on the left. It felt like it was going, my left foot yeah. Yeah. felt lower on yeah, that. But my left foot actually felt lower than my right on that. Yeah, that's why, you know, and it's, uh, I can tell you it's purely flat, so... <laughs> This yeah, yeah. Feeling, this feeling, you know, mm. So this, good, uh, this purple line is where the physiological uh, position, and, and that should, should be in the middle. Yeah. So I'm and slightly so forward are, to the yeah, to the we right. We are over the 52 percent, so you are uh, you are uh, on the, on the left, and uh, so certainly we can see some effect, you know, in, in the swing. But even in, in, very important, you know, with the shoe and what we have been seeing, your weight is a lot, lot in the front. Huh. Right, just a quick one, JJ's yeah. been telling me. This is a little bit of a messy one because I've just been playing about with it, but quite simply, my weight roughly was on this I sort will, of I line. Will, I will give me oh, you can bring it up. Yeah, I will. That's you. Okay, yeah, on there. So that was where I was, and JJ just said to me about lift. if I lifted my toes, so if I actually set up and lift my toes up, now that feels to me it feels to me like my weight then is about here my foot even probably even further back slightly towards the heel i actually i actually get if you just explain that again jj when yep. you're saying that once i get my toes slightly up that starts to engage my quads and my glutes your glutes your quads and by the same direction also your abs and what i was saying before to jj it made complete sense because any time wind is directly behind me Miss strikes happen yeah. all the time because if I'm then too far from my centre line and that wind just pushes me, I just feel like I'm falling over. And when ball is below my feet, That's because it. I'm already forward, I just tip forward exactly. all the you, time. You, you have been consuming all your all the weight you are able to, to put in in the front of your of your foot. So if I was to get the sensation that I could wiggle my toes, sit my weight slightly more in the middle of my foot, engage this, engage this, I'm more stable straight away. Yeah. Okay, so I'm with now Emmanuel, and we're going to do some. How did you say, Emmanuel? Morphology testing. Morphology testing. So he's going to test how I move. I'm going to keep you running. See, I don't know what to expect. For it. I'm slipping the camera on my shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a ten out of ten so far. Okay. Let's go. We've had the five tests so far, uh, passed with flying colours. <laughs> Apart from one, which is the last one you just yes, saw. Yes, last one. It's shoulder rotation on the ball there. Where I sat on the ball, had to put my hand on my knee and then rotate. And you've you should be able to get 90 is the goal. And I only got 65 backswing and follow through. What Emmanuel was just saying there was the idea that 
that's why if you if you watch my swing and we'll do it in a minute in the studio is when I rotate my left knee ends up dropping inwards because I have to turn my hips more to allow my shoulders to turn and that's all linked to this final section of that rotation but everything else 10 out of 10 the best he's ever seen <laughs> kind of, kind of, yeah. you, you kind of. <laughs> Oh, look well, what we found here. This might be my new glove. Hello, new glove. How are you? I like the look of you. New gloves. Right, well, the guys wound me up a minute ago, obviously. They actually gave me a right handed glove. So I'm just about to wear it, I found it right handed. This time, they give me a left handed glove. I think it's weird that there's golf shoes in there, yet I'm slightly more excited about a glove. Emmanuel, could you say that again? I, I, I so quickly tried to get the camera back on. You're almost perfect. Almost perfect. Well, that, that's the best compliment. That's the best compliment I've ever had. The best compliment. JJ, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. That's all I need to do. So guys, I've not introduced you to JJ before. JJ Rivet is the uh, head of instruction. Is that the right phrase? And he is yet for... Uh, for Sport Performance and Biomechanics for European Tour Performance Institute, which is the department of the uh, European Tour. We, we is looking after uh, all the players to optimize their performance uh, through biomechanics for sure. And here you are in the head of, uh, of the performance yeah. lab. And you can, you can kind of tell because it's a, it's a pretty special setup. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really uh, like uh, I tell you, you know, uh, uh, I'm heading I'm that uh, department for the tour, but also, you know, uh, I'm the biomechanist uh, for the French Federation. And uh, when we, we start, you know, this, uh, this building there, it was at this time, you know, to, to improve also the, you know, the, the performance of our amateur players. Uh, and uh, what you, you can see there, it's uh, everything you, you, you can do when you come here. The guys stay for one month, two months, you know. And, uh, and they are able, able you know, to improve all kind of uh, um, uh, performance enhancement you know, they, 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 they can. So, they, so a lot of players come down here, stay, stay for a, a month, six weeks, eight weeks. Yeah, the fr French teams, they stay for four months during the winter. Yes. Four months to prepare you know, all the events and after they start. Most of the players, when they come there, they, they come for one week. You know, so they are very in a, in a quiet place and we can work uh, you know, nicely on all the different uh, direction, you know, whatever it's, uh, it's a physiological uh, problematic they could have, whatever it's, uh, it's a biomechanical uh, problematic they want to improve with their coach. So they come with uh, most of the time with their team, you know, their coach are coming with, uh, with them. Because uh, you, so you often are, work with a player's coach as well, you know, you're yeah. very much on the ethos that you're working together for the end goal. Exactly. It's not a exactly. competition in what you're trying to do. I don't know. No, I'm a, I'm like a live tool, you know, for yeah. for, for a coach and the players. You know, you're a specialist uh, in the in the in yeah. the in the field that you're in. Yeah, and, and in biomechanics, you know, it's like uh, when I work with rugby players or, or other sports. You know, we are there, you know, to be able, you know, to the coach or the players has a, a, a question, and he's wondering, you know, if there is something in his body, you know, which help him or not to to do what he wants to achieve, yeah. you know, and my my position is just say okay, give me, ask me the question, and I will give you the, the answer. Yeah. And after you know, they can, uh, or the coach, you know, uh, can uh, can find some direction once they know, you know, uh, of the restriction you, you may have or not, you know. And because uh, you you do a little bit of work with uh, Mr. Ledbetter, don't you? Yeah, David. And, uh, with David, you know, I've been working a lot, uh, essentially in the year '98 when we have. Uh, uh, 98 Twitter, goes. Yeah, Justin Rose, Lee Westwood, and so on were at Fantastic. the States at this time, you know. And, and now, uh, uh, now so names like Lydia Cole, Michelle Wee. Yeah, exactly, and, uh, and, and some other players. We are very lucky also to have some America, American players like uh, Matt Cushard, Mike Weir, and so on were Fantastic. coming there, you know, uh, because they are thinking, oh, 
what are they doing there in yes, Europe? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, so <laughs> they're doing something right. Let's go and find out. And there's a few players JJ has to be a little bit secretive of, so he does, can't tell us everyone, can <laughs> yes. you, JJ? So I'm going to jump onto this system now, which is um, here you fourth are, here, fight. Here, that's, that's a system we have, you know, uh, uh, you know, on the European Tour, uh, which is working. Uh, you, you maybe know Golf Channel and yes. so on. Golf Channel, you know, they have the same system. Uh, you know, uh, working, you know, you have four plates, you know, who are linked, you know, with, uh, with the high speed camera. And, you know, uh, the high speed, and you are here, some uh, system who are, are on the top, which are able, you know, to track the ball and to track, you know, the, uh, your swing. We are not here because we are, uh, the time is a little bit shorter, but you are welcome course, you know, yes. to, to come back. Oh, thank we you. Have, uh, we have, <laughs> that, you that, know, guys, that's uh, just to me, by the way, not everyone watching. Okay, that's <laughs> only an invite to me. <laughs> we, we have system, you know, like, uh, uh, like we have using uh, two systems uh, for kinematics, which is the Ariel kinematic system. Uh, we use that since 98, and just recently we use the Gears system, which is a, a huge uh, system. Oh. Which is able, you know, to track your body and, and the club as well, you know, at the same time. Incredible times. system, but isn't it? Actually, you know, uh, is in uh, maintenance. So uh, uh, next time you will come, uh, yes. you will be able to. Next come time, through. Uh, JJ, I'm here next week. Um, so <laughs> we're trying on the new shoe today, new Under Armour shoe, but. Unfortunately, because I already wear Under Armour shoe, we couldn't really do a head-to-head -head against the shoe that I already wear. So, I've thrown on the spikeless ones first. These are the new spikeless ones. Um, and then we're going to jump into the uh, Tour Tempo. Because obviously, I already have the Drive one. Um, so, you know, it's a class shoe still. So, I'm going to jump on these first spikeless, get some force plate data, and then jump on the uh, Tempo Tour as well. We have been making, uh, we have been going through, you know, the assessment we have on the European Tour, you know. And we see that that's why we, uh, my uh, colleagues say you are almost perfect. That means that in terms of elasticity, <laughs> you are almost, almost perfect uh, for an 18 or, handicap. Or, yeah, <laughs> almost everything uh, you, you should uh, you should have, you know, which is quite quite good, you know. Well, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, yeah. The only problematic you, you've got is is the restriction, you know, on the on the rotation of the of the shoulder or the dissociation between shoulder and hips. You have little restriction on Yes, that. and what, what I was saying, I was just mentioning it to people before, is that my tendency is my left knee, you'll see it anyway, left knee will come in, I'll over rotate my hips to compensate, yeah. but then I find it tremendously hard to turn back in time and square it up. So I, I, something that I've kind of worked, Kind of deep down new but never really got to grips with some ideas with jj is going to hopefully unlock a few of those secrets um and trying to get me qualifying for the open i'm trying to qualify for the open this year jj okay just let okay. you know okay good so no pressure okay, so it, you can take all credit if i do so when you're ready when you are dressed ready just put, make a little bit more okay you can Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've got all the data up on screen. I'm gonna let JJ obviously talk you through it. So just before I will set, you know, the different moment we will talk about, and I will explain you what we were looking for. So we've got video analysis, we've got weight distribution, the blue and red yeah. one, and then we've got the, the trace of pressure. Pressure center, of center of mass. Center of mass. Which is link, which is link, you know, with our force plate, you know, because it's force plate, it's not a pressure plate. It's force, it's right. Force plate, which is link, you know, with the center of gravity, uh, almost. So here you are uh, in live with the video. You have the uh, repartition of your weight in red on the left foot, in blue on the right foot. Okay. Here you have the repartition of the weight in the front and the back of the right foot front and the back of the left foot. So just to give you an idea, I was hitting seven iron there guys as well. So that's 
set up for my 7 iron. So, and here you have the algorithm which is recreating, you know, the position of the Hendrix bar we are talking just before. Yeah, so JJ was just mentioning before the second toe, the one next to the big toe, am I right in saying that? From the, the second toe on the foot all the way down to almost to the heel, there's like a, a bar that's actually almost like the center of your foot. Is that the best way of, yeah, of it's, explaining it's, it? Yeah, it's going, you know, it's going. Maybe you can uh, show the clip. Show the, I'll the show that clip. You know, so that's going to be good because that's that's a re, uh, a bar which is going from the second second toe going to the midfoot and going towards the Down. heel. Okay. And that's a torsion bar. What we call a torsion bar. And when you are able you know, to keep your weight uh, on this torsion bar, you are able to keep you know uh, a, a good positioning of your swing. And for sure, with the shoe, you will be able to to wear just after. You yes. will be able to optimize to the maximum you can the capacity you have inside the shoe. Okay, perfect. So here, what you can see, so here, here, so left and right, the repetition of the weight. So here, uh, you are here, what we call the the, the core force uh, applied in your swing. That means that during the swing, you will lighting up, you know, at, uh, at uh, just at the start of the down swing, and you will and you will put weight on your foot if you are able really to work you know, with the ground. Okay. We, what we see with a lot of young people and, and so on, they're lighting up, you know, is because they are not able to continue you know, to, to control the, the force you will apply on the ground. Was that, was that referred to me then, younger people? I would say you're very young. <laughs> wow, I've been called almost perfect and young here. I like it, I'm coming back. So, um, okay. So if we if we see at, at, at the start what we see you remember where you were you know on, yes. on, on the, yeah. on Which the I've front already you know you are since the start in the front of your toe yeah 70 76 uh, that's quite that's actually quite a lot more that's than quite, expected that's quite a lot normally what we what we see most of the players uh, you know they are uh, centered and when they start you know they start centered and why why they why the, they resist. Where is the turn with the upper body by resisting with the lower body? You see a position of the weight which is going towards the toe, and a position of the weight on the right which is going towards the, the heel. Okay. And that will keep, you know, a, cent uh, a quite centered position, you know, uh, uh, axis of rotation, where you know your you can create the big dissociation. The big rotation. Yes. So normally in the middle, backswing it would go le left toe, right heel. Yeah. I'm guessing to sync with the hip rotation. Yeah. And, and then the shoulders work over the top of that. You create like that a, a couple a couple of, uh, of four, you apply the you know, force around the couple. That means that the couple maintains the axis of rotation, you know, in the yes. middle of the body. Yeah. And, and, and if you are moving on that, you destroy you know, this couple and you may have some a lot of uh, uh, problematic, you know, in, in the swing. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm really surprised it's that much, like 80% towards the front of my foot. Yeah, that's a lot. Isn't it, yeah. But you remember, you I were over it, yeah. 40, yeah. you know, on, on, the, yeah, exactly. on the balance, you know, so yeah. I, I'm not surprised. And you see here, nothing happens. No, nothing goes to I, right I heel, does it? I can show you some top players' uh, motion where, you know, the weight is going towards the heel. Already, just even yeah. even just in the takeaway? Yeah, no, 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 at the Top end of the back swing. Oh, but here, yeah, you know, at the end of the back oh, swing. Oh, that's showing it all anyway, isn't yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, that's the start. Yeah. And here, you are at the top of the back swing. Here, you still, you know, in the front. Oh, you're still God, in the yeah. front. And here, you are in the front, of, always here, also here, so you are, you are not making, you know, this dissociation. No. You don't make, you know, this dissociation. No, I don't at all. So, so that, that's the thing. I would say somewhere, you, you don't use, you know, uh, you know your, your, your grounding like you, you, Could like you should. Yeah. So I will give you some direction to use that. Perfect. Okay. So when you, when you start at the down swing, and that's why we don't have a big, big uh, peak here. When you start at the down swing, you are, uh, you know, you're at this point, you're still somewhere, you know, on, on, on the back, on, on the right foot. Right, even though, uh, yeah. you know, you can see potentially my hips have gone a little bit, but my upper body slipped back. Yes. And, and that's, that can definitely be the reason why I get so far inside. And, and, and you, what's happened, look where you are, 184. And, and and you're absolutely on, on your toe. Oh my goodness. You are on your toe on both so sides. So this, this explains 
completely why I hate wind when it's behind me. Uh, yeah, for sure. I hate it. When there's can wind imagine, directly behind me. You can imagine if you... Uh, with all that weight going towards my toes, all I'm going to do is tipple over. If I've got wind coming this way, just try and give an, an image. So yeah. this is me and that's yeah. where the ball would be. If the wind was coming this way and I'm 100% onto my left toe and 84% of my right toe. Well, it's gonna take a, a, a blowing out of a birthday candle to, fall, to knock me over. Yeah. It's not gonna take much, is it? <laughs> I, I would say even, even more than that, at this position of the swing here, you can imagine, you know, here you are, you close the door here. Yeah. That means that if you look at uh, most of the top players when, when they are coming there, when they are coming there, here, they create, you know, a motion where even there, you know, there is a lot of room here. Yes. A lot of room because the weight is, is on, on the heel and in the front. And so from there, the rig can push hard, you know. Yes. But you, at this point, you are almost there. So it's difficult to put more energy. Of course, because, well, there's less um, grounding, isn't there? Yeah. If my foot's yeah. going forward, my, if my heel's practically coming off the ground, it might not be fully, but it's coming off the ground, there's less surface area yeah. on the floor, which it can cannot be a good thing at all. This is very interesting, and, this. And so when you arrive toward, toward the swing, I can tell you it's, it's very good what you're doing that because coming, you know, in- A in, rescue well. <laughs> to be in the front of your toe, to be able, you know, to, to achieve, you know, 70% 70 uh, transfer, you know, towards the, the left is very good. With most of uh, amateur players, we see, you know, when they are, uh, when they are with the same shape like this, at this point, they are going backwards. Yeah, yeah, they're going onto their right backwards. foot. So I think it's pretty good, but... I've re like I say, yeah. it's a, I've rescued it. I've rescued you, it quite well. And you see here, you know, all the motion, I, I will start from, from the, I will come from the start, but you see here, how all the weight, you know, is moving in all the foot side. It's absolutely not stable, you know, here. Yeah. You see the weight is going, your left foot, you have no stability on, on, on your foot. So, now what I would like you to do, you will change, you know, the, the shoe. Yes. I will ask you also to change the position of your, of your foot. Bring the toes. Because you understand, you know, with these shoes, you know, uh, you, you will have a position of the calcaneus which is very well aligned. Well, let, let's, so, grab, let's grab the shoe quickly and then you can explain that. One yeah, second, let me grab the shoe. It. Right, so this is now, we've got the Under Armour Tempo Tour. Uh, this is what we're gonna see if there's any difference in the way we move our weight, but also, you know, you've had the input of designing these shoes. Yeah, I, I have, I've been very lucky, you know, to, to, to you know, to, uh, to work, you know, with uh, David Scaltel, with, uh, with the father of these shoes with a very smart guys who have been a great influence in the, in the other golf shoe, uh, other shoe of Under Armour. And this shoe, you know, we start from scratch with, uh, with David. So the first thing we, we was say, saying, you know, what, we, what first, we will want uh, having a shoe which is able, you know, to help, you know, the, the foot to, to be uh, in, in the best position we can to optimize, you know, the motion with the, on the body. So the first thing, if we have the first thing, you know, to start with, is with the position of the calcaneum. Yeah. So you will see on the little animation I've been uh, showing yeah, so you. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a, a, a grasp of the yeah, heel. Yeah, it's isn't like it? if, if, and you look with the inner sole here, how the inner sole, you know, is going around yeah, all, all, exactly. the, all the calcaneum. You give, uh, you give all around, you know, the, the calcaneum. It's like if I'm, uh, Imagine that's your calcaneum there, and I'm here with a lot of hands, and yeah. I try to to, main, to maintain it, but not only to maintain, to give him an information that there is a contact, you know, with the, um, with the material which help you to, to, to feel that you are in, in a good position. Yeah. You, were you were mentioning before how it's almost, it can educate you. Yeah. Like I say, we, you know, we, we're not going to get a sailor on this, you know, as everyone knows, I, I wear Under Armour, it's going to be, it's good, it's, it's interesting to how it's going to help potentially me and my stability and yeah. how this design of the sole and etc is going to so, create a little bit more stability in my golf swing so much. So, uh, as you know, I give you the example, you know, of, uh, of uh, Paris Dakar. Yes. In the Paris Dakar, if you have a, a very good engine, and you have a very bad uh, 
shock absorber setup, yeah. you will be dead. Yeah, exactly. If you have a, a car which is less powered in engine, but with a very good shock absorber, it will be uh, leading you know, the, the, the course. So, so what's important, you know, when you have a power engine and you have to, to work, you know, with the ground, is to be able to work and transfer all this energy on the ground. So if you have something which is moving always, it's difficult to transmit, you know, the energy from the body to the ground and to add the reaction uh, backwards. So all this, all this material you see there is a master, is working like a shock absorber, which is able, you know, to give, you know, energy back. And you can see, you know, on, on that, the, push into that there, yeah, JJ, you can see that actually pushes into that. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a foam material. Foam material will help you when you, and the more you, you use the ground, the more it will give you, uh, 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 I will say, uh, it will guide you, it will guide your, your grounding. Yes. It will guide your grounding. So, two things so far it's got an enhanced cup to, to pr grab your heel and, and keep it more stable, it's got the charged foam slash uh, exactly. kind of suspension system. Yeah. Which help you know to to uh, to control you know yeah. the, the, the 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 rotation and, and so on. And your quite client. nicely, quite nice. And you know, guys, this is not we're not this is not salesy pitch. It's quite that comfort level as well because that's a squishy material. So it's not only do it, it's doing two jobs. It's it's using as a shock absorber as a suspension, but also with it being softer foamy, it's squashier, so it's comfier. Yeah, and, and don't forget, we need to swing and we need to walk. Yeah, exactly. Well, you so oh, much or, walking. Or, or, or on that, David has been thinking about and, and, and testing that a lot, you know, to be able, you know, to have a working action which helps, you know, the foot to go in pronation when, when you go and come back to his position. Yeah. So when you when you push, you know, you you have a, you have you know this action, you know, which working like on the video I show you, which helps the foot, you know, to work in in yes. walls and and come back to this position. It will come back to this position thanks to the heel and thanks, you know, to the to the the way you know all this part, you know, has been uh, has been modeled. So Super. the calcaneus. This shock absorber, you can see that the shock absorber helps, you know, the flexibility of the shoe. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So up to that spike, it's rigid. Yeah. And then from this section here, yeah. it's So soft. you can work and there is no problematic, you know, because if the, this one will go further, it's going to be problematic, but it's not the case. And the last one, but certainly the, 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 the huge, part you know of the research David has been uh, uh, working on is uh, to try to help you know the Hendrix bar we are uh, well, talking we just, before, yeah. just uh, before to be well positioning so as, as we see you remember how the Hendrix bar was going like this yeah. and going like this and going like this second okay? time yeah so you can see there you know uh, uh, the ID it's of how it. you support that and also very uh, important this part from the heel to the to the to the fifth uh, metatarsus is uh, is always must be uh, always on the ground to be yeah. stable. So you protect that, you stabilize uh, the Hendrix bar, and so now you have everything which puts your foot on the position, which helps you to play with the force on the ground. There you go. That means that when you get these shoes, you begin to to be able to play with uh, with the. Uh, force you can use from the ground so again guys this is you know it's it's technology it's the idea that we can actually enhance what we do what we put on our feet they're not just they're not just shoes with spikes it's that so much so much engineering goes behind something as as new and as fresh as this from underarm with the idea that it like i say it's not just a training with spikes it, it's, they've not taken inspiration from other sports as such they started from scratch and then just nailed this should we stick it on and see what happens let's go let's do it <laughs> yeah. so jj's just been showing me a cool little trick where he's take how have you done it now you've taken mm. it <laughs> yeah. that's so oh so he's all yeah. right so you've un unstitched the top yeah, it was there Okay, so, so you've you put here. undone the top ones and then go top to, second to top to top. Yeah? Yeah, and then through. Ah, clever. And it's it's just done it on this foot and it's like so after, snug and a bug. So okay. wow. now, and due to the quality of these lasses, 
you know, it's it's so easy, you know, to to do it because they are very, very, very strong and very round. So it works like. A, That's uh, great. That feels lovely. Okay. All right. I'm doing that with every single pair of shoes I've ever owned. Yeah. Just for you to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, so have a look at this now. So we now saw, you can see. Okay, let's edit you. <laughs> yeah, we saw where I was before, very much strongly into my toes. And I was struggling to even get close to the middle of my foot on the right. I've got better you can at see that. that you I'm actually now moving, I'm moving into the back of it. And you're back of the right foot, front of the left foot. And you have a nice dissociation between, between where you put the weight toward you know the front and the back. Yeah. So and so you can see that you, you, you can keep that you know until you know the, the top of the back swing and, and you maintain that until you remember before at this point you were almost in, in, oh, in yeah. the front. Yeah. Look where you are now. And, you, and, you, and all this uh, all that helps you to have a lot of room. Yes, you know, in your which is what I struggle with having room on the way down, therefore get a little bit under and stuck. And look at impact where you are now, you can verify with the other one now. It was 71% 70, before. And now you are at 77. That sounded nice, Joel. Uh, so, me and Joel have very similar issues in what we're doing. So, that little exercise then, JJ just had me left heel up, right toe up. So basically, by keeping the the the, the ground on, sorry, with yeah, the, keeping yeah, it straight. Yeah. So I, the two things, I generally open my feet. I kind of walk that way. I'm quite left foot open, generally. I need to keep my feet straighter. Is something that's key. Practice with left heel up, right toe up, so that my weight is left toe, right heel. And then as I start to come down, try and maintain that for as long as possible so that I don't fall forward. Um, first impression when I'm hitting in these shoes, they felt like they gave lots of support on the heel, um, but really. And really you can play you know, with this grounding, you know, which, is a, which is a key. Uh, when, when you, I would say when you have uh, these shoes and, and you know uh, even more how to play with is that's that's what's create you know uh, something uh, great because you have everything you know to optimize yeah. the way you know to to play you know with the ground so of course I will reckon <laughs> however I still feel that you <laughs> JJ had a huge influence on those numbers and a huge influence and that's the feet help yeah the feet helps the shoe the shoe good. support <laughs> and help the, the, the shoe is able, you know, to 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 give to go on on, the, on that direction, yeah. you know, and, and and playing, and that's why you know the beauty of uh, of our collaboration with uh, David and uh, Skelton and all this team, you know, yeah. is to put, you know, what we have been doing to improve, you know, the, the works of the foot grounding of uh, many players, and we put that in in the in the shoe. Yeah, I think JJ is a, a legend of the. The game with the biomechanics. Right, come on, Joel, rip one. Ever. Thanks, JJ. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so guys, that was uh, it's really cool information. I'll, that's, I'll it's it's very interesting listening to. Um, on, on, on force plates and the ideas that how golf shoes can support the foot. Um, like I say, deep down, deep down, JJ was the guy who made that. You know, he, he 
got me changing what I was trying to do with my feet in, which was great. The shoes feel great, there's no question about it. Um, they look smart, feel comfy, and they're gonna help support it. And just look at this place. Isn't it awesome? Right guys, so all ready for a nice meal out. Uh, I'll finish the vlog there. What a fun day. Fun and interesting day. Great time to spend with JJ with that. He is an incredibly clever guy. Uh, I've now got the trio of shoes. I've got the drive ones, the casual ones, and the tour tempo. Uh, I can't remember what these ones are called, but they're pretty cool anyway. Um, I you know what, I had a fun day today, and, and all joking aside, you know, <laughs> with regards to reviewing these these shoes, I'm not gonna do a review on them. It's just a little bit of a uh, kind of a showcase of the technology that's gone behind this type of shoe. You pick shoe if you like the look of it. There's a bit of technology to help you, albeit. Right, I'm gonna have some, uh, I'm gonna have a red wine tonight. Enjoy the evening, we're playing some golf tomorrow. Stay tuned for loads more to come. Uh, I'll do a bit more of a daily vlog as well. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Uh, I'm not used to these, to be honest with you, and it, I apologize if it's the longest vlog in the world. Um, I'm not used to this at all, so it might be a huge vlog. Tomorrow I'll try and condense it down. Thanks for watching guys, do subscribe, comment below, like the video, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go.